NASA just held their first public announcement about 3i Atlas in over a month, giving their final verdict on it and even showing us some new pics. You know, the interstellar object passing through our solar system that many think is an alien mothership. We've got some new amateur videos of it, it apparently ripped a massive hole through our sun when it passed by it, and NASA abruptly ended a live stream when an alleged UFO passed by just a day before this announcement. And the too long didn't watch summary of it is, it's 100% a comet and their pics suck. Shocker. Like really? these are the best picks they got at this point. But in more interesting news you actually care about that NASA is not going to talk about, we have these alleged leaked videos of 3i Atlas, which are probably fake, but they're pretty fun to look at, showing clear footage of what appears to be an alien mothership, but take it with a grain of salt. Our sun now has a massive butterfly-shaped coronal hole 35 times the size of Earth on its surface. Now, coronal holes are actually pretty common and are just areas on the sun's surface where the temperature is cooler and the density of the sun's plasma is lower, usually resulting in magnetic fields fields shooting out into space. But this is the biggest one we've had in a while, and the fact that it happened just shortly after 3i Atlas flew by our sun leads some people to believe that it, like, I don't know, extracted energy from our sun to power its ship. Amateur telescopes from Ray's Astrophotography captured this video of 3i Atlas, showing what appears to be multiple objects rotating around each other as it moves through space, similar to that European Space Agency video we got a month ago. Here's another non-NASA video showing the interstellar object with a similar effect. What is going on with this thing? Pausing Ray's video and enhancing it shows us this, which is definitely something they don't want you looking at. Here are some more taken by the Italian Virtual Telescope Project, which aren't very clear, but we can see that something is happening there. Now, a day before NASA's announcement, they had a live stream where a triangle-shaped UFO appeared on screen right before they cut off the stream. And it just comes out of nowhere, almost looking like it has some sort of cloaking technology enabled. But people are quick to point out that the camera was actually facing Earth, and these are just a reflection of city lights on the planet. Maybe that makes sense, maybe it doesn't, but that sure does look like a triangle UFO to me. 3i Atlas continues to get closer to Earth and will reach its closest approach to our planet on December 19th, 2025. So maybe we'll get better pics of it by then. But in conclusion, NASA has told us their answer on it. It's a comet and they're sticking to that. So it either is really just a comet or it's an alien spaceship that they've determined is not going to invade us and is just passing through our solar system for like reconnaissance or whatever. Because if you think about it, if it was some sort of alien mothership, they have no reason at all to tell us that it is one. All that's going to do is cause mass worldwide panic. If it's just passing through our solar system with no intention of invading us, they're better off telling us it's a comet. But maybe it's just a comet, relax. 3i Atlas will continue to fly by Jupiter in March 2026, where the Juno satellite could hopefully take some better pics of it than what we get here on Earth. But even if they do, they're probably just going to edit the pics before they release them to the public to make it look like whatever they want it to look like. But until then, guys, I think we're safe for now.